Hello folks. So in the previous section, we built a multiple linear regression model to predict the profit a venture capitalist can expect if he is going to put his or money in the startup uh, given he or she has access to company's R&D spent, uh, administration spent, marketing spent and the state where this particular startup is located. So in this section, I'm going to start with giving the overview of Flask app uh, which we are going to develop as a part of this particular uh, uh, video series. Uh, so Flask is a web application framework which supports development of web applications and services. And as a part of this course, we'll be using Flask to host our web app, which will be uh, handling the HTTP requests for a prediction of profit amount. Okay, so uh, you know the venture capitalist can uh, enter uh, certain values on the web page uh, of pertaining uh, these uh, five columns which I told you about earlier and uh, once we click the submit button uh, the cap venture capitalist will be able to see uh, the profit amount predicted in front of him or her okay so as a first step we need to install the flask first and we need to have an environment created where we have python installed so for this we can install anaconda uh, so anaconda uh, is this particular application and uh, so anaconda we can uh, install and then uh, for the develop for developing the server side python script we can install uh, editor like atom so this is the atom uh, sorry so this is the atom already open okay atom uh, editor so in this video we are going to build a simple flask app uh, that will be a sample flask app that will show a message to a user that flask is being used for development so this is a kind of message which which will be shown on the uh, web page so let's uh, create a python file so but before creating a python file let's uh, create the environment first so on the anaconda navigator just click on in the environment tab uh, select python 3.5 here so i clicked on create button to create an environment so in the environments click on create button and then you can name your environment something like flask sample app maybe okay and then we can click on create so it will take some time to get the environment created okay and just to give you an overview so once this environment is created okay this will be a separate environment where you can actually um, keep all your uh, dependencies and libraries so there is a so you can uh, in in uh, Python uh, anaconda you can create separate separate environments and in one particular environment you can restrict that environment to a particular app single app and in that environment you will install all your python libraries or dependencies so in a way it is kind of a you know bifurcation of a single app from uh, any other applications okay so that way you can easily maintain the, these kind of applications right so let's see if our environment is created is still taking some time and uh, once this environment is created we will then enter inside this env environment by using a command called activate okay so once we are in that environment uh, we can then uh, create our app and install our libraries which we are going to anyway be doing uh, for this particular uh, you know sample app okay and I am going to keep my uh, sample app in my f directory okay here so here let me create a folder with the name sample flask or flask sample app okay and 
Now, once we have created this particular folder, we can then open up our, our uh, Atom editor and we can go to Add Project Folder. So, in Add Project Folder, we'll then go to F Library and then select our folder here. Okay, so select. So, it will open our project folder here. Now, we can create one file here with the name app.py okay so this will be our uh, backend app okay or the web service we can say so let's create it and then let's go in inside this file let me see if this particular environment is created is <coughs> it is still taking some time okay so in the meantime uh, what we can do it so let's close this welcome dialog box actually and in this particular uh, app.py will be writing our code but before writing our code we need to install the flask module right so it is still creating the environment so with the anaconda uh, distribution we also get anaconda prompt as well so when you uh, install this anaconda uh, anaconda prompt comes by default and you can basically give all your commands uh, like you give in uh, linux uh, you can give those commands here like pip install flask maybe but right now I'm not doing it. I just need to uh, ha enter into that environment which I'm going to create here. So our Flask sample app environment is created here. Now, now what we can do is I can activate this environment which will be all together uh, separate from other environments uh, so that you know you don't have any overlaps of any libraries or code. Okay. So activate flask sample app okay and then you will see instead of c users nathan anaconda 3 you will be able to see the name of the environment which is flask sample app here okay so in the meantime let me go to this okay again i just need to wait for uh, you know this particular uh, command to go through first it is taking a little bit time here so you can see now that we are inside our environment okay and now I can go inside my F drive where I have created this flask folder because obviously I'll be creating the uh, Python app over there so it will be easier for me to run from there okay so and then F right now I'm in Windows environment so I'm using this so CD flask and hit tab and it will automatically take the name of the folder so now I'm inside my folder okay uh, you can see the files app.py which we have created here right so you can see that we are inside this folder and it is rightly showing the app.py now what I, what can i do is we can just install the flask here so pip install flask okay so it will install the flask app so uh, the command with, to import the flask is from f 
flask import flask so this will be our first line okay and then after that let's see if our flask app is installed it is not yet okay uh, so let's do one thing let's write the code in the meantime Fla uh, flask gets installed okay okay so uh, yeah so second line would be to initialize this flask app so app equals to so this is the uh, basically command or uh, a code to assign the flask so flask name so underscore is two times here so two times before phone name and two times after name so this will create the instance of flask class and underscore underscore name underscore underscore is the name of the application module here okay so whenever uh, we are basically uh, mm, using the single module we give the name like this and next statement would be at the rate app dot route okay and then an endpoint name which is test here okay so at the rate denotes uh, the decorator which allows the function property or class it proceeds to be dynamically altered that is it tells flask uh, what URL a user has to browse in order to uh, in order for the function underneath to be called okay so that slash test here represent an endpoint where we want to access this web page and we can give only slash also uh, to represent home page uh, okay so let's see if our uh, flask app is installed yes it is indeed installed now okay so uh, folks this is it for this video i'm going to cover the remaining uh, portion of the code in the next video tutorial so keep on watching thank you